friends welcome back to UK level up this is a short video of geography 9th standard chapter 1 this video helps you to study the important points of the chapter let us start this chapter discusses about some physical features of India India is a vast country here is four important factors about India's location first one is India completely lying in northern hemisphere and the second factor is the location of India. The location of India is 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north and 16 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east. Then the third factor. The Tropic of Cancer that is 23 and half degree latitude. It passes through India and divide India into two equal halves. It is approximately two equal halves. And the fourth factor is the two island groups are also included in India. That is Andaman and Nicobar Islands in Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Island in We all know India is the seventh largest country in the world. Here some important facts about India's size. That is four important points. First one is 3.28 million square kilometer is the total area of India, geographical area of India. And the second one is it is the 2.4 percentage of the world. And the land boundary of India is 15,200 km. The fourth one is the coastline boundary of India is 7,516 km. There is also some important points about the physical features of India. It's also four. First one is India is bounded by the Yang Fold Mountain in north and northwest. That fold mountain is called Himalayas. And the second one is the southern ex extension of India that is South Indian portion divides the Indian Ocean into two that is Arabian Sea in west and Bay of Bengal in east. These two are the portion of Indian Ocean and called Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. And the third point is there is a time difference of 2 hours been between Gujarat and Arunachal Pradesh. And the fourth point is we considered 82 and half degree east as the standard time meridian. We calculated time on the basis of 82 and half degree east uh, meridian. So it is called uh, our standard time meridian and it passes through Mirzapur Uttar Pradesh. The Indian landmass has a central location between the East and West Asia. India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes connect the countries of Europe in the West and the countries of East Asia. Here, figure 1 point shows the, the central position of India and its importance on air route and sea route. Most of the air routes and sea route connected through India. No other country has a long coastline on Indian Ocean like India. It is India's eminent position in Indian Ocean. The various passes across the mountains in the north have provided passage to ancient travelers while the ocean restricted such interaction for a long time. These routes have contributed in the exchange of ideas, commodities since ancient time. The ideas of Upanishads and Ramayana, stories of Panchatantra, the Indian numericals and the decimal system thus could reach many parts of the world. On other hand, India is also influenced by other parts of the world. We adopt the culture, traditions, culture styles of the other parts of the world. Then the next topic is India that is about the neighboring countries of India. India occupies an important strategic position in South Asia. 
India has 28 states and 8 union territories. India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in Northwest and China, Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan in North, Myanmar and Bangladesh in East. Our southern neighbors across the sea consist of two island countries namely Sri Lanka and Maldives. Here the Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow channel of sea formed by Pak Strait and Gulf of Manar. And finally, India had a strong geographical and historical links with her neighbors.